Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here, back again with another live replay commentary. What I mean by live replay commentary is that I am watching this live for the first time with you guys. I have an idea of what happened to this match, but I haven't watched it all the way through or anything like that. So we get to experience everything for the first time together. You guys seem to really like that aspect of these videos. I'm thinking about maybe doing this as a once a week thing, just add a little bit more variety to the channel besides a top five video on Monday and then kind of uh, whatever for the rest of the week. Just some thoughts. Anyway, we are watching Mark Reckless here in the tier 10 American Destroyer, the Gearing. Now, I don't have two, well, I'd be lying if I said that. I have a bit of experience with American Destroyers. Uh, I've played, I think, three versions of the Fletcher so far. I haven't really gotten around to getting my Destroyer lines too far up. That's kind of like the last thing in the game that I have to do besides the CV lines. I'm starting to get there. So he is on Land of Fire. This is Arms Race mode, the mode that replaced Epicenter. And he is, well, looks like he's one of the brave DDs that is actually going to go for the buffs. If you don't know how Arms Race works, you have various buffs that get dropped during the match, and they affect all types of different aspects about your ship, from the reload time to the the health buff that he's got right in front of him, where you basically get a free heal that's constantly working. What is that from? That was from the, what is it? What CV are they facing up against? The Implacable. Okay. This is a CV game. Uh, you got an Implacable on the enemy team. Friendly team has a Shikaku. Anyway, you get these buffs, and there's obviously large benefits to your team. Typically what happens is that one team's DDs actually go for the buffs, and it does help out the enemy team quite a lot. I say the enemy team because it seems to be when I play this mode, it's always the enemy team's DDs that actually go for the buffs. Now there's, of course, a big risk for that, because obviously everyone's waiting for somebody to go to the buffs and get spotted. Mark eats a little bit of implacable HE bomb there, 1848, to the nose of his gearing. Uh, this is the newly remodeled gearing as well. A little while ago, the devs went in and cleaned up some of the older models, including the American DDs. Uh, gearing got a little bit skinnier, a little bit more accurate to her real life version, and got her a, quite a bit, no, well, actually not quite a bit, a little bit better gun angles as well. O overall, not a huge difference besides the ship does look great. Now, so it looks like the enemy gearing managed to get that buff. Uh, Mark was, of course, being attacked by the CV and, and getting spotted in front of a gear and a Montana and the enemy gearing is probably not a good way to start your match off. And the gearing does have, of course, the American long duration smoke screen and an engine boost. And torpedoes that apparently, is that his torpedo range all the way out there? I think it's what, 11? Is it really 16 or is that his gun range? Let's see. Ah, yeah, 16.5 torpedoes. That's, wow. That's pretty nice. And 11 kilometer main battery gun range. That sounds about right for American DDs. The American DD shells are terrible. Uh, it, it takes them 17 years to get to the target, it feels like at times. And, well, this looks like uh, Mark's game's going about how most of my games go. The enemy team has the heal, the reload buff, and the damage buff. Uh, Mark is approaching the enemy gearing, it seems, at this moment. Might be able to, yeah, his friendly Ruprick and Napoli are pushing up with him too, so I'd hazard a guess and say that's probably a safe target to engage. Although the enemy Colombo and Montana are off to the right. Uh, looks like Mark's team is fairly spread out at the moment. They don't seem to be doing what my team usually does on this game mode where we they all go to the kind of G2-ish area and kind of just chill there. Oh, there's enemy gearing. Spark going to open up on him. Let's see, that gearing looks like he's maybe, yeah, looks like he's about to beach. Um, goes undetected, Mark's pushing out to spot him for his team. There's the gearing torps up, oh, there he is again, he had to slow down to try and not beach. Yep, Mark's going to open up on him here. Yeah, well, Mark does have Halsey, he doesn't have Halsey's pinned up, but that is Halsey's tracers, I do believe. Or he might be running um, a couple of, not a couple, one of the other unique commanders. Although, no, he doesn't have the, the unique voiceover of that um, hockey player dude. Don't recall his name at the moment, so I'm guessing he's running Halsey at the moment. 
That uh, sh spread from the Brewprick to the Napoli didn't finish him off. That guy's pretty low. Although, again, he is healing, though. It is the only um, first tick of the healing buff. But, I mean, hey, the free HP on a, on a DD is free HP on a DD. Uh, Enemy Ismo knocked out the Thunderer there. Marcus popped his speed boost to catch up to this enemy gearing. So it's nice seeing that Mark's like actually chasing down the low health DD. So often in games do my teammates just let these ships that have like 1200, 1500 HP just go. It's such a refresh refreshment to see somebody actually doing their job. Oh, although he is about to run face first into the gear. Uh, the gear's kind of turning away. It looks like Mark's team's kind of gravitating toward the eastern flank at the moment. Mark's dumping some torpedoes in the water at the gear. He does have RPF, and it looks like the... Oh, nope, just swapped over, so that gearing is right there. If you guys don't know what RPF is, it's a little white semicircle you see above Mark's reticle. This is a skill that lets you see the, the direction of the closest target to you. So you have a general idea of where the nearest enemy ship is. So like we can tell, since this is pointing toward this island, that that low health gearing is probably hugging the other side of this island. And that's obviously very valuable information. Ooh, the Napoli and U-190 are dead. And the U-190 got taken up by the enemy U-190 as well. So Mark's team's now down a ship compared to the enemy team. They're also down a submarine too. The enemy team's lost two cruisers. And Mark's team's lost a battleship, a cruiser, and a submarine. Now Mark's being very careful. Oh, is, he gonna is that a gear going to eat those torps? Gonna eat maybe one, two, two for sure? Yep, two, three, wow, okay. <laughs> Man, that's, wow. Um, that ship has hydro. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, it's always embarrassing when you get killed by torpedoes on a hydro ship. I mean, happens to me too. But it's like, man, I really should have hydro going. Okay, so that's his first kill of the match. Uh, this Montana might be a second pushing up around here. Um... Is he really just going to... Well, he's kind of coming at an angle. He might not sell straight by. Or he might. Okay. So, Mark is unspotted right now. This Montana is spotted. So, by the way, pro tip. These little island gaps right here. These are, like, perfect torpedo channels for what you're seeing right here. Be very careful anytime you have to push up or sell by these uh, torp channels. Is he... Oh, is he going to get this Montana too? Back to back like that? Oh, yeah. That's a dead Montana, boys. He's dead. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, Dev Strike. Wow. Okay, Mark's off to a great start. He's got two kills so far. He's almost at 100,000 damage. Um, wow. Okay, oh, there, there's that low health gearing. 900 health. Oh, well, yeah, it's regenerating health now. Man, so he ate something then. Uh, oh, I bet you that blind fire cell from the Napoli must have nicked him. And got him pretty darn low. So, okay, so the C was doing a nice thing and dropping a fighter squadron on top of um, the gearing there. Now, look at this little brawl happening in the center. You got a Masashi and a St. Vincent bow inning to an Iowa, a Montana, and a Ruprecht. Who's going to win that engagement? The St. Vincent torpedoes are probably about to come in handy in that absolute mess in the in the middle right now. Although the Masashi can, of course, overmatch the, well, everybody's bow there. He, he literally does not care. That is 302. Oh, well, there goes the Iowa. Hmm. Okay, let's see if Mark... Yep, and there goes the root. I told y'all, the St. Vincent Torps. Ah, uh, 30k off of Torps. And, okay, so the Rupert got the Musashi, but the St. Vincent's probably going to get the Montana if I had to put money down on it. He does have two of those Torps in his nose, and he is fast. Okay, let's see what Mark's doing. Ah, uh, Hipper's down, too. Man, so Mark just got two absolutely clean kills for his team, and his team, um... Yeah. I don't think you need to see up. Oh, hello. Hi, other Gearing. How you doing? Well, there's Mark's third kill of the match so far. So he's up to, uh, yep, yeah, 100,000 damage and change. He's waiting for this Columbo to... So is this Columbo just going to sell forward after seeing his DD get murdered by another DD? This is... Hmm. Now keep in mind, too, uh, Mark's team only has the reload booster. The, this enemy team has the... Heal, the reload booster, and a full damage buff going in. Well, there goes the Montana. All right. And look, his <laughs> Fletcher in Alaska are all the way... Ah, Columbo plays a little bit smarter. Doesn't just go straight forward. Decides to go around. 
Uh, Alaska and Fletcher way the hell down on the IJ line along the Shokaku and the Yamato. Mark is the only one up here in the middle right now where you kind of need to be at. Ah, Columbo also smart has a spotter plane up. Oh, is he still going to go forward? Oh no, Columbo, you see him! Why are you not slowing down or turning out? Oh no. Oh no, Columbo. What? Oh! <laughs> This is this man's second dev. I think really his third. I th I think he just didn't get one with the gear. The gear might have been right below the um the threshold. But what? Okay. So other pro tip. Um, when your spotter plane spots a gearing hugging an island with his torpedo launchers facing you, you kind of don't want to go around that corner. Now, now I I know it's a Columbo. It's a big boat. But he could have just dropped um his speed all the way down it, he finally gets to the buff what is it here okay so he gets the, the ship health buff he could have just dropped his speed down and just jammed the rudder all the way to the right he would have gone out he probably would have eaten three torpedoes yes that's a lot of damage he's not dead though i feel like someone is apparently pinging mark even though he's the only one that's actually in the fight so mark has single-handedly managed to keep his team up with the enemy team he is simply killing the enemy team faster than his team is dying. And his team seems to be trying pretty hard to die as fast as they can in some cases. Okay, dropping torps in the same... Is it the St. Vincent that got the uh, the couple of funny torps off that sunk the... What, what, what was it? The Ruprecht and, and the Montana, I think? Alright, so Mark's also collecting buffs. He's got two reload buffs, uh, two damage buffs. And what's the St. Vincent going to do now? Yeah, he's moving enough. Because it's a St. Vincent. St. Vincent, you really don't want to be sitting still in. Because it doesn't really have the armor to tank. You want to, you know, be moving around like a cracked out squirrel. You don't want to be sitting... Is he going to turn back into these torps? I, sw I don't know. Guys, with what's been going on in this match, it would not surprise me that... Oh, no. Oh, no, St. Vincent. No, no, no way. No way, right? Are you... Okay, okay. I don't think... It wouldn't surprise... Okay, okay. See, he's got to see these torps right now. He almost did, though. It wouldn't surprise you. All right, so is uh, Mark going into farming mode? I think Mark's going into farming mode. Ah, but no one's there to spot the say I hate that. When you're a, a, an American DD and you got the long-duration smoke, you're like, oh, perfect farming opportunity. And naturally, you're the only one spotting them. All right. So St. Vincent. Let's see what he does. Uh, he could rush the smoke. He does have, of course, the funny torpedoes. Uh, he could just kind of keep his distance and go away. He seems to be turning to the Shokaku Torps now. And is he going to eat any of those? Ah, yep, yeah, there's the funny Torp. Now that Torpedo does do 30,000 Alpha, so if Mark even skims against that, he's dead. Naturally, the Friesland kills the Fletcher, so Mark's hard work is, well, definitely keeping his team in the running here for potentially winning this match. Alright, let's see, let's see, what's he going to do? The St. Vincent is very maneuverable. However, I think from how... Oh, he completely blind drops that. With how... Yep. Y this is a dead St. Vincent. Whoa, those secondaries. Wow. Those are a very nice light show. Yep, there's a dead St. Vincent for Mark's fifth kill of the game, ladies and gentlemen. That's Kraken Unleash High Caliber. Okay, so he doesn't have Halsey because that would have popped Halsey's High Caliber award right there. Um, I'm sorry, uh, his High Caliber talent. Wow. Okay, um... Did he get another death strike for that? Uh, he should have. I didn't see if it popped up. So now the enemy, sorry, the friendly Alaska is deciding to get off the island right now. Uh, the enemy, the friendly Yamato is very slowly pushing up. Um, people are still shouting at Mark to get various buffs and stuff, even though he is single-handedly carrying the team. The enemy does have a full HP, I'm sorry, a full heal buff going on right now. So that means that these DDs are actually getting a significant amount of HP back uh, every tick, which is much more than what Mark has. However, this is a Friesland. Ooh, a Friesland with a full reload. I'm sorry, a half reload buff right now, though. That's going to be pretty scary. However, Mark does have 23,000 HP, but he's about to get spotted here by the implacable so that's unfortunate for him the freezer yep those yep we'll see look he's already at 10,000 hp let's see what mark does here is he going to do some more torpedo witchcraft here uh his torpedo tubes got knocked out freezer's opening up on him he's like oh man look at that 
Look, freezing just from that brief engagement got him down to 12,000 HP. That is rough, fellas. So let's see. Oh, the U-190 is proximity spotting him. That is hilarious, submarine proximity spotting somebody. All right, so let's see if Mark can get him. Only 4,000 HP left in the freezing. Ah, but the Alaska, I'm sorry, the Yamato, I think, is coming in helping here. Okay, 2,000. That's like one more good hit, Mark. 1,000. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That is kill number six, ladies and gents. Submarine tries to get those torps off. Mark manages to tuck back behind this island just in time. However, those torps, I think, might not have been meant for Mark, but rather the Yamato. Let's see. I uh, can't see where those torps are going at the moment. Uh, Yamato does have good torp protection, though, so we should be okay. But let's see. So now we got a submarine and a DD. I'm sorry, and a CV. Now we, this is a submarine that has a hill going too. One of the things about the submarines is that they have such a low HP uh, amount that you know any bit of damage hurts them tremendously. But he's got a full hill buff going. And I know it, it is proportional to his hill. To, I'm sorry, to his overall health, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's still going to be a bit of an issue because they can stay undetected for minutes at a time very easily. I do wonder, this RPF, is this pointing toward the sub or to the CV? Because the submarine obviously can be underwater. There goes the torps uh, toward the Yammy. Oh, there's the implacable. Now, do keep in mind, the enemy team is still winning right now, guys. Despite Mark killing six of the enemy players, the enemy team is still winning because they've picked up more buffs. <laughs> so he needs to kill, how much the sub's worth? So the sub's got to go down in order for Mark to win. Or the CV. Or both. I mean, heck, why not? So let's see what happens here. The submarine is... I think somewhere off to his right. Looks like the RPF is indicating the CV, so I guess it doesn't work. Oh, nope, there we go. Yep. Submarine just surfaced right next to Mark. Hello, U-190. How's it going? Mark starts rolling off depth charges, starts gunning on the U-190. U-190, I don't know who those torps are meant for. Probably the Yammy. Does get a couple of depth charge hits here. And there we go, ladies and gents. That is a dead sub right there. That is Mark's seventh kill of the game. Wow. Okay. So that was... Did he get Confederate for that? Oh, they got Confederate. Okay. So wait, hold up. He might be running Halsey. He might just have all the effects off. This is weird. Oh, oh, ladies and gents. Mark's about to just get an eighth kill here just because. The Implacable is coming in. And this is going to be Mark's well-earned 8th kill, unless a Yammy yoinks it out from underneath him. Let us see. The CV tries to get him. He's How many planes has he shot down now? 24? 25? Hello, Mr. Implacable. Here's your daily dose of Metal Fish. And there we go. <laughs> 8 kills! 8 kills! Man, alright. So, let's see. What was his commander build? Or who did he have? Oh, he did have Halls. He just had all the stuff turned off, or it didn't just, just didn't pop up in the replay. Or I'm blind and I missed his pennant. Okay, that that makes more sense. Wow, wow, Mark, that was a what was the base XP on that? That's got to be a ton of base XP. Thirty-eight hundred. Oh my god, he was like what? A few planes away from having a four thousand base XP game. Holy crap. So, man, when I saw that game was going, I thought, oh, you know, they're going to roll over the enemy team. He's going to get a bunch of kills. But no, the man's over here getting eight kills, and the enemy team is still managing to sink his team pretty much just as fast as he's able to sink them. God, Mark had to say, don't worry, fellas, I got this. And again, he was the only one in there capping, getting the, the buffs, the only one contesting the... Uh, midsection there for a while after those three ships got taken out. Three dev strikes. I really think he should have gotten four there uh, with the uh, gear. Unless again, the gear was probably just a few hundred HP underneath that goal. So Mark, hats off to you, dude. That was an awesome game. Arms race can be an absolutely goofy mode at times. It's really funny, too, how for most of that, too. Again, for most of these kills, he only had one buff. <laughs> While the enemy teams got, I think, three or four going there at half strength. So... Man, 1.3 million credits, 28,000 XP after modifiers, 5,000 free XP. And he did only have the gray booster on for his uh, credit income. Dude, if you had the green one on or the blue one on, this guy would be swimming in credits from this one match. 298,000 damage done. 
good job on you, Mark. So, guys, let me know what you guys think about this match down below. Let Mark know how impressed you are by his achievement here. Again, eight kills. Jeez. Man. Good job, Mark. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful Wednesday. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below. Again, hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Ho hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.